We talk about getting your home ready for sale and that you need to address the curb appeal of your home. So today I'm going to give you some very specific ideas on how you can help the curb appeal of your home. The first one is to trim your shrubs. A lot of times people don't use their front door. I've mentioned that before. You go in through your garage or wherever it's most convenient. So a lot of people don't use their front door when entering their house. And I can't tell you how many times that I have parked to show a house and we go up the walkway to the front door and you're having to walk out in the grass because the shrubs are overhanging and taking over that walkway. Making sure your shrubs are trimmed back is definitely going to help the curb appeal of your home and it will also make it an easier home to show. Second thing I would tell you is to make sure you're weeding and that you're mulching. Make sure you put fresh mulch out within a week or two of going on the market so that it looks great for the photos and then it also looks like a well cared for lawn. Third thing I'm going to tell you is to sweep your walkways and driveway and if you want to take that a step further pressure wash them as well. There's been a couple of times I've went out to go show and it would be raining and they have so much grime and mildew, if that's what you want to call it, on that walkway that it's very, very slick. Again, taking care of things like that just makes your home easier to show and makes it much more appealing to buyers. Next, I would tell you to remove any outdoor furniture that you have that is not in the best shape. If you've got some wicker furniture that maybe is falling apart or has holes in it, I would definitely take that out. If you're not going to buy new, then just leave it empty back there, but you don't want furniture that is worn, torn, and looks like it's falling apart. If you have any broken windows and shutters, I would definitely address those. Windows are kind of expensive, and that's not an expense that a buyer is going to want to have to think about when they're looking at your home. Repair your gutters and your eaves, make sure your gutters are cleaned out, make sure that the water can come out smooth through those, and that's going to save you some problems in your basement as well. Next, I'm going to tell you to give your front door a fresh coat of paint if it needs it. And sometimes it may not need it, but a fresh coat of paint will make the house pop, especially if you add a brighter color. So if you have a dark skin home, adding a bright color on your front door will really make it stand out to buyers as they're driving by and as they're coming up to the front door as well. Make sure that you buy a new doormat. And that's something that's really simple that a lot of people do overlook, but having a fresh doormat welcomes the buyers into your home again. It's just a nice touch. Last thing I'm gonna share with you is to make sure that you're cleaning and shining the brass hardware on your front door and your exterior lighting features. Again, doing that is a small step, but it will make your home pop and it shows buyers that you are taking care of your home for the long haul. It's a little maintenance item that goes a long way. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you want more real estate tips to help you get your home ready to sell.